What is going on, guys? Morning auto review. So I'm back at it. I will with another video. Um, so I'm headed um at the auto sales up there in Massachusetts. Um, going to do some videos for you guys. Hopefully, I will see you know a lot of new cars so that you know the video can be more interesting. So, um, but first of all, I'll have to get the Chevy serviced so it's like few hundred um few hundred um kilometers to the service on um, the service time so i would just have it serviced before i head out so i'm headed to the garage already um booked the appointment i'm on my way there to have it serviced i already have the oil on the filter i just need to have it serviced. that should be nothing less than 15 to 30 minutes job so after i've serviced the chevy then i will head out to the auto sales so i'll see you guys at the garage so we're here at the garage already about to do the oil change for the chevy and then we will head out to massachusetts and do the video for you guys so see you guys when we're done so we are here guys um it's starting to snow all right snow is starting to form up but we are here so let's jump into the video quickly so this is a 2014 volkswagen volkswagen jetta station wagon so this is a station wagon so you have that you know suv style it's a station wagon 2014 um it's a 2.5 s okay so let's go ahead and walk around for the station wagon lovers this is the station wagon wagon you have a very huge space in the back This is it. The spare tire and everything is right under here. All right. Smooth this up. Let's go inside. Straight off the back. This is this is clean. I love the interior. Of course, you have. Um, I don't know why some cars. This this thing don't pop up the headliner is perfectly clean okay this is how it looks it's like your your, your regular um sedan style but this is just a station wagon that's good let's go inside a hundred and thirty five thousand miles on the dashboard that's impressive low miles relatively what year is this i said it um it says it says 13 but it's actually 14 cup holders traction control everything right here extra storage right here let's go ahead and check out the belly of the beast So there you have it, your 2.5 S engine. This is it guys. This is this is a clean engine. I love the way it looks. Um it's a 2.5, so it's a big engine. And you have everything right here. So there you have it, your the 2014 Volkswagen Jetta. How about a German technology? This is the Range Rover Evoque. So right off the side fender of the bumper, there's some trim that should be right here. Um, you have a broken, um, this is rubber. The fender is all rubber, guys. Um, you have to change that fender. Very clean um, Yokohama tires around. 
It is very clean, guys. This is a Range Rover Evoque. It's perfect. But it's sold, so we wouldn't have the opportunity to look in it. But a lot of cars come here, guys. A lot of cool stuff are here. You never know what you will meet. Whenever you come, you see new stuff. Every day you come, there are new cars. So let's go ahead and check out another vehicle. So of course we need to spice the video up. Why not come to the the cheap side? This is a Toyota Corolla. Do not run. Bad engine. Seven hundred and fifty dollars. If you buy this one, you have to consider changing the engine. This should be the DX. This these cars are noted. Yes, of course, it's the DX. They are noted to be lifelong cars they stay with you forever i don't know i'm not sure um what's the mileage on this one um autometer reads zero 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 so it's not saying anything but if you buy it you're gonna be um faced with transmission problems uh engine problems it's rough it's very rough very very rough it smells it smells good not bad okay i voted this is how it looks for those of you who've been into the corolla for for ages this one is a 1996 toyota corolla dx okay and so this is how it looks from the back all right you have um the spare tire there's jack there's um fire extinguishers in here this is how it looks from the back i personally love the ones that had um like this style you know the tail light integrates into the the trunk i love that there are other ones that the tail, tail light only stop here this is nothing nothing um normally here i love the style of this one let's pop that hood and check out the bad engine mm. all right so this is it i don't know what the hell somebody was doing here did the paint hold up hold up guys hold up. let me step this thing up i need to see what's going on here is this paint or are they painting the what is this some type wait hold up hold up is this what i'm guessing is this is this what i'm guessing so my guess is but i'm not too sure again because when you look under here underneath this car hold on let me see something no if you look underneath you see there's a whole lot of powders under here so my guess is that this car got on fire i'm not sure I'm, I'm just saying because if you look under there there's a whole lot of powder like the, um, you know like um the fire extinguisher when you you know you extinguish fire you know how the the powder comes out but then i'm not seeing it you know in the entire engine compartment i want to see it from the intake side going underneath let's go look and again you see under there how it looks so my guess is this car actually probably caught a fire and the fire was extinguished you see all under here something happened to this one guys so we're gonna leave it as it is and check out another vehicle so let's look at another cheap car this is a subaru um 
Trevika, something like that. I'm not sure of the name. I'm about to look around and see. This one has engine problems. Um, nice tires. Okay. Nice tires. Relatively looks clean. Body wise. Okay, it's a Subaru. Yeah. Tribica. Yeah, this is a Tribica. Um, I think it's locked or there's no power. One of them. But this is it. You have a um, little ding in the back right here. Something to take note. Yeah, there's probably no power. Um, it's a turbo seated car. So this is how it looks from the back. Leather seats. Okay. And this is how it looks from um, the dash. Um, pretty much stylish dashboard. Curvy. Okay, let's go ahead and sit in the driver's seat. Oh, it's cold. It was it was going to snow. I don't know what's going on, but it just turned out to be very cold. Okay, well, here's this. I'm not seeing that. Hopefully, the owner's manual shows us. So, there you have it. Subaru. Okay, there's nothing here. Great. That's awesome. Okay, let's pop the hood. Where is it? Hold up, hold up. Okay. It's right here. Looks like it's already popped. Okay, okay this one is already popped. Hold up, hold up, hold up. How do we? Okay, I got it. So, this is the. Oh. Guys, I asked you guys to comment in the comment section and let me know if Subaru deals with the boxer engine. Um, I think I think that's what Subaru deals with because this one is the same. Hold up. So, um, fortunately for me, I have um, what's the name of it? A cross track right here. So, let's quickly, you know, compare the design of the both engines. We actually. You viewed this one before. I don't know why it's here. These cars are um, popular cars out here in the, in the United States. I don't know why this one is still here. I don't know. It hasn't been sold. So, quick comparison. This is the four cylinder boxer engine. I'm going to go with that boxer engine. This is the four cylinder boxer engine. You see there, two intake on this side and it goes like this. So, it tells you that. The engine is the tire. You have two pistons here, two pistons there. Look at this one. And let's come to the V6 layout. Three pistons here, three pistons there. So I'm going with the boxer engine. Come in the comment section if I'm wrong, but I'm sure Subaru deals with the boxer engine. This engine looks very, very clean, but then it has problems. It's listed as a car that has um engine problem goes for $1,250 this is the v6 um layout okay everything right up here power steering motor or your pump whatever you want to call it alternator is right here um ac compressor is right there okay everything pretty much on top of each other same layout for the four cylinder um power steering motor is right there um alternator is right here ac compressor right here as well oil filter is up here um this one the oil filter is not up here but it should be somewhere under there so that's the difference so i'm going with the boxer engine guys comment if i'm wrong so let's go ahead and look at another vehicle so look at this one too it's another subaru and this should be a legacy yep all-wheel drive of course so let's check out the legacy. Let's go around. I like the color. 
I mean, it's inspected till 2024. That's a good one. We have good tires around. Hitchy. <laughs> it's like somebody is interested in this one and they have locked it. Yep, it's locked. Let's go ahead and check out another car. So next on my list is a Subaru Impreza, symmetrical all-wheel drive course. So let's go ahead and walk around. I actually have the key to it, so um, nice wheels. Toyo. All right, it's snoring, so um, um, I'll have to call it a wrap after this one because I'm getting really, really cold. Clarence price, $5,400 and fifty dollars for this one guess what this one is a manual so it's a 2014 impreza it's a manual so remember this truck it was six thousand four um fifty it dropped to five thousand four fifty this is the um the f-250 the, the power stroke v8 that we did the all exclusive video for that's it it's still here it's another super duty there's another GMC, there's another Chevy Silverado, and that's a um, F-150 way there, over there. So let's look at this um, Impreza since we have the key already. Up, 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 okay, let's check it out. Okay. So this is how it looks. The interior is actually it's perfectly clean guys. It's very clean. Um it's super clean. Can we open this? Alright, it's open. So you have a very not really large but perfectly fine trunk space. Spent tire that never touched the floor or the the road. The boxer engine of course it's a five-speed manual transmission and we're gonna ride it and try our manual skills it's been a while since i sat behind the wheels of the manual car sewing machine of course this is good it runs good everything is perfect so let's go ahead Take it for a spin. 163,000 on the dash. That's not a bad one. So let's take it off for a spin. Radio check. Um, FM. It works. Everything else works. Let's take it for a spin. So, yep. Five speed metal transmission. It's, it drives good, shifts all gear perfectly. Undercarriage is solid. So it's actually snowing, so I'm not going to stay that long here. I've been here for a while, honestly. Um, let me go ahead and put there's a check engine light on this on this one, so that yep, a check engine light that's something to take note of. But overall it drives good, it ships from gear one to five perfectly. We don't, we don't have any you know slippage in gears. So it tells you that the pressure pick clutch this and release bearing are all good. For now you drive it, you drive it good. Um not a lot of new cars here today. So we just call it a wrap after this one and we're going to head home. I'm going to head home and do my other my other things that I have planned for the day. So, having said that, thanks for watching this video, guys. Thanks again. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing to the channel, and I guarantee you, you wouldn't regret. Um, I want to say thanks to all the subscribers. Currently, we have um, our 250 something subscribers. 
okay the goal is to take it to 500 at least that's the goal to take it to 500 subscribers but um gradually we are getting there i'm so i'm so grateful to you guys um you know for doing what you do keep um watching the videos um keep commenting let me know you know how i can you know improve the video it's our channel of, of course so the fact that you subscribe to the channel it means that you like the content that i create so um give me some suggestions let me know if you if you want a particular kind of car um i'm not doing the boat videos uh, because the video of boats because no new boats is there it's still the same old the same old things that we did it, the same old um boat that i reviewed recently that's the same only cars we have some new cars coming here up and down so thanks for watching the video again see you in the next one